Welcome everyone to today's Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Join me as we take a look at the Kakri Blade Warp Early Survival Small Vessel. Today's design is the Kakri Blade Warp Early Survival Small Vessel. This comes to us from creator Excalibur and is one of two of his recent small vessel designs. The name of this comes from the Kakri which is a Nepalese knife with an inwardly curved blade. Traditionally, the Kakri was used as the basic utility knife of the Nepalese people, so it's only fitting that it is used in this case to name a basic utility small vessel. The Kakri blade is a cheaper small vessel design, which means it's going to forego certain elements that make it too bulky or are just unnecessary for basic utility function. This is why the majority of what you'll need is right here in the back in one convenient location, which is you have on this side a cargo box, two more cargo boxes, and a fridge, as well as on this side another cargo box up there, two more cargo boxes, and another fridge. Now here you'll find your cargo boxes, you'll find an O2 station, an armor locker, and a mobile constructor, and right here you have two ammo boxes. Now what's nice is as you can see here, there is an arrow pointing to this. In between the two ammo boxes, you will find a little spot. If you click, you are right inside the cockpit, making it easier than necessarily having to climb up top to do it every time. If you look on each side, there are two more arrows. And what these are, are access to two additional passenger seats. It comes with four mini guns in the front and one on each side, but you can always take these wings off and add some more weapons on each side if you wish, and all thrusters are exposed for compatibility with any future patches. The Kakri Blade Warp Early Survival is an unlock level 10 size class 1 small vessel. It carries 9 fuel tanks giving you a total of 5400 fuel, and with the thrusters and RCS turned off you see I have over 42 hours of use. As the name implies, it is warp capable, so it does have, of course, a warp drive and a warp drive fuel tank. Coming with three oxygen tanks, it can carry 1,200O2, but only needs one O2 to fill it. This, of course, means that you're more worried about using the O2 to fill yourself up from the one oxygen station. When it comes to combat, as I showed earlier, it only carries the six Gatling guns, but of course, you can replace these with something else if you wish to or take the wings off and place something else on there in addition to these. It has a total of 10 cargo boxes and 2 ammo boxes, along with 2 fridges and the 1 mobile constructor. When it comes to resource costs to build it, that's where the Kakri blade starts to really shine. As you can see, the 720 iron, 562 copper, 426 silicon, and 122 cobalt should be fairly easy to get on your initial starting planet. This makes the Kakri Blade a very good ship to use early off as it has combat capabilities as well as plenty of storage capabilities so you can of course go to your moon or go to the next planet over and do some harvesting for better supplies to come back and build your first capital vessel. As I said the Kakri Blade is the cheaper of two early survival small vessel designs coming to us recently from Excalibur. His other design the Switchblade early survival has a few more things going for it, but is also more expensive to build. If you would like to check out the Kakri Blade in your own game, I will of course have a link in the description below, and if you try it out and like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the workshop page for Excalibur. Also make sure if you have any creative suggestions and comments to leave them on the workshop page as well. That is it for today's workshop showcase. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy, Thanks so much for watching, be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.